Sir, hello. Sir, hello, Pete. Sir, hello, people. Today, we went out to Brisbane and I bought this moshy monster thing. You cannot even begin to comprehend the value of my forthcoming genius. As you can tell, it's very good quality. I bought it at the op shop. It was a lifeline. And it cost me a whopping 20 cents. I walked up to the counter and the lady put the money back in my hand. That's right, I got this for free. Mostly because the lady would have thought that I was some kind of insane person. Yeah, it's really disgusting. The whites, well in real life it looks really dirty and weird and it feels kind of weird. Uh, well, whatever. As you can tell, it's legitness. And it was, it was made in 2010. Good year. Anyway, I also got an Arizona iced tea. It's alright, I don't know how I feel about it. But also, Pokemon cards. Interesting, I haven't opened Pokemon cards in years. But this was at one of the petrol stations, so I got it. Surprisingly, it was only $7. Which is average for Pokemon cards. The cheapest I've seen them was $6. The most I've expensive I've seen was $10. So $7 is pretty average, I'd say. It's it's not Sun and Moon. I remember when they changed to Sun and Moon, but it's not Sun and Moon. It's uh, Scarlet and Violet. Whatever that is. And we've got like a Gyro... Gyro... We've got the... Uh, not Mudkip, the... Whoever this guy is. Yeah. I know Pokemon like the back of my hand. I suppose let's open it then. Ugh. Let's see what packet is actually inside because these have been known to not actually... It's basically false advertising. And this one is false advertising. Now we've got some kind of dragon Pokemon. I suppose I'll call him, uh, 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 yes, that's, that's the legit name, uh, yeah, I suppose let's open it, now I'm not sure if there's a specific trick to opening these, or like the shuffle, so, I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna... Look, I'm just going to... Uh... Oh, hey, who wants to join my free gift card giveaway? There's your code. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> now, I'm not sure, because for the old packets, you do like one, two, three, and then put them in the front. But I don't know, because this is some kind of weirdo new generation. So, I'm just gonna not do it and then see what happens. So let's flip it over and see. Wow, well, these cards look interesting. So we've got a Pine Co. Yes. Now we've got a Flittle. Uh, all right. We've got a Foo Coco. What kind of names are these? We've got a Drowsy. Amazing. We've got a Oink Ol Olgen Yeah, whatever, some kind of weird pig guy. We've got a spirit tomb. Yeah. Looks like some Ben 10 type of thing. We've got an Ultra Ball. Oh yeah, I love my balls. Okay, now is that like the reverse holo rare, or not rare, but whatever. Yeah, we've got whatever this is, a fid, fido, a fido. You know what? Okay, so how many cards are behind this one? Because I believe the rare should be next to that one. All right, so these two I'm pretending aren't the rare. Okay, let's, okay, so this first one, okay, that's the energy. Wait, this one might be the rare, though. 
Okay, if it is, I'm just leaving it like that. But you watch, it's gonna be like a mudkip or something. Oh wait, so the next one's the rare. All right, what's this? Oh wait, that's the rare. Wait, you get two rares? What? Okay, I don't know how this works. Anyway, we've got a meow meow scar scar uh, yeah I don't care and then we've got the rare which is a holo card wow oh my god look how beautiful this is it's a don dozo some kind of fish pokemon yeah this was rubbish anyway that was that was a waste of money. Uh, even though I got a good rare. Good rare. I mean, it's hollow. So that's cool, I suppose. The greatest thing that I got today was this weird Moshi Monster thing. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm probably never going to open Pokemon cards again. But anyway, goodbye.